I strongly disagree with the judge's ruling. As the president has said, it will be appealed promptly. Um, very often, appellate courts reverse what lower courts do. And so the the, exact, the uh, executive actions that we were moving forward with are on hold for the time being, but this ruling will definitely be appealed, and I believe it'll be overturned. Homeland Security Secretary here on Special Report. We're back with the panel. Laura, uh, it is frozen, the action, the executive actions, and now the question for the Secretary, which is, I assume, why he showed up late today, yeah. uh, is the funding question. What do you think happens? I think at this point, it's frozen. They're not. They're going to try, if they can, to live up to the court ruling, but it's killing them. I mean, I can see that on his face, he didn't, he didn't like what happened today. Uh, irreparable harm, the court decided it would be irreparable harm to the states if they allowed this to go forward. Likelihood of success on the merits, two of the three prongs on the on the injunctive, injunctive relief it didn't surprise me at all I think he's wrong I think that the Court of Appeals will uphold this I think the Supreme Court would ultimately uphold this I think they lose on this it'll be interesting to see if the Republicans take this as a you know off-ramp on this uh, DHS funding question I think you're gonna see Boehner and McConnell maybe come out jointly and say we have to let the, the judicial process go forward we're delighted to see the court uh, push up against this unconstitutional action maybe try to step back I think that will infuriate the base of the party though what about this whole argument George about the, the funding of DHS and and how people show up without getting paid and and the list of things that Secretary Johnson listed there um, the poor effects of this if it were to go forward? Well, again, we have some experience with this. That is, when in the government shutdown of 2013, DHS sailed right along nicely because they declared everybody essential and everybody came to work. So uh, the idea that there'll be chaos or vast gaps in the security of the country is untenable. I think one thing about this lawsuit that's important to appreciate is it's the result of some underappreciated development in American politics. And that's the election of a lot of feisty Republican attorneys general at the state level who are arguing that when the president usurps the powers of Congress, he directly injures the states because their interests are represented in Congress. And this executive fiat imposes serious financial costs on the states. We shall see whether Laura's prediction is right. It's not insignificant that it's 26 states led by Texas filing this lawsuit and now this injunction. No, but it's overly political. I mean, it's political in terms of the judge having spoken out in political terms about his distaste for the president's ruling previously. Uh, and I think it's political when you read the decision and he says, uh, yes, the president has discretion in how he applies immigration law, there's no question, but the class is so large in this case, potentially impacting millions of people, that it therefore amounts to a rewriting of the law and therefore has impact on the states. And just the way that George was talking about, because we have now so many Republican governors, attorneys general, and the like. So the question is, is that the case? And I would argue that what the courts will rule, at this, the Fifth Circuit in New Orleans, contrary to what Laura was saying, I think they'll say, no, it's not a class. No. You have individuals who are willing to apply to have themselves identified as illegal and to, to request that they not be deported. But what about the president saying 22 times that he didn't have the authority to do what I he mean, did? I mean, they have the Office of Legal Counsel, Brett, and the Justice Department that reviews potential actions. I would imagine somewhere along yeah. the line, OLC wrote a letter to the White House, I'd love to see it, judging whether or not they thought this was a constitutional action. At some point, they must have said, no, Mr. President, you can't do this. That's why he came out 22 times and said he didn't have the authority to do it. But in the lame duck session, he felt, might as well go for broke. A lot of these Republicans are with me anyway. They want to do this immigration reform. They want to get it off the table, maybe for Jeb Bush, so he can come on and say, look, I wasn't there when this was done, but let's move on. So I think he knows that in their heart, a lot of those Republicans want to do this. They didn't want to do it this way, but it was going to put them in a box. I think George's point on this funding of the border security, Jay Johnson said, oh, this is just going to hurt our funding. We're not going to be able to do border security. A lot of Border Patrol officials say they're holding them back as it is now on the border, and they're not doing any interior enforcement unless someone basically is a violent criminal, and even then some of those guys get released. So that, that argument seemed really specious. you agree with Laura about the off-ramp that Republicans are going to take, or do you think that this is going to be another full blazing attack with this, uh, with this ruling pending? I hope they take the off-ramp and, and use this as an excuse to step back, step out of a box they've built and put themselves in. Yeah, By the way, oh. speaking of politics, there's a political dimension to what the president has done. I just don't mean appealing to Hispanic voters. 
What he's doing is enabling millions of people to enter the workforce legally. That means they can be unionized. That means they can begin to pay dues to finance Democratic campaigns. This well, is a campaign I think finance the, measure. Let me just tell you, the it's polls show vote. Americans, Republican, Democrats, independents agree with the Democrats, will blame the GOP, and I think that's going to be damaging with Hispanics as well. Well, there are some on Capitol Hill who believe that the Republicans should stand up and that the oh, president I, I forced know. them in this, this, this point. That is it for the panel. We'll be talking about it much more, but stay tuned for some box office hits you may have missed.